What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War 3 Let's Play as the Swedish Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we, uh, well, we've started our war against Russia and in the first of a series of battles we're going to be attacking Lemberg and finally destroying this Russian force uh, under the command of Adam Wingr Winogradsky. So we are going to have also fights up here into the wars of the north and we're actually even pushing on towards Moscow. But either way, first of all we'll have to dispense with the garrison at Lemberg. So let us attack. Actually no, sorry, they're attacking us but we've brought this army in to relieve the siege. There is a... Oh, so there's an army to the east, I remember that now. Um, but yes, if we can defeat this force in fairly short order, it's our own territory, we'll be able to uh, replenish our forces in quick succession and then continue the offensive. But ultimately, the end is here for Russia. We are attacking them on every front and they just aren't able to withstand us. I mean, this is the high ground, or the, the, the road is the high ground, which I want. So my 12s hold. My artillery can probably unlimber and provide fire support to allow me to take the road. So this is our core infantry component. My Finns and the 7th Grenadier Regiment on the right. My 17th Foot Guards, plus my Foot Jaeger, plus a Light Infantry on the left. Good. But yes, I want the road. Actually, let's click on that. Okay, they're coming in right behind them, which is perfect. One of my howitzers isn't able to actually provide any fire support. Get them to limber up, send, move the guns up, move my general up to the woods. You men are going to have to advance fairly smartly as well. My 12s can will advance because wherever the enemy infantry are we will see a push so here's the seventh lancers the infantry are falling back Make up their mind if they want to attack or not. You're not going to be able to fire for long. Push onwards if you like. So my line is now in position. You fired your volleys, so form square, new men form pike square. That was enough. Oh, they're broken. We are going to advance towards the guns. And we're going to give my infantry opportunity to breathe. You men solidify your hold on the flank and get my 12s up on the high ground. Keep my general close to the front line because we can expect a an enemy bayonet charge. You men advance, a couple of loose horses, they'd make fine mounts for my army. It would be good for those guns to fall. Here comes the enemy, but they're infantry, so they're going to be very tired. 13th Grenadiers, 11th Grenadiers, the 22 men. OK, 
commit to your line. You are likely to call off your attack. Advance. You're hitting quite a concrete counter defensive position there. Hold positions. But Jaeger are vulnerable because they can't form squares, so I'd like the 13th to break as quickly as possible. You men hold. Commit the. Nope, they've broken off their attacks. Commit the cavalry. These men fill up the line. Okay, the enemy cavalry is withdrawing. Mine will withdraw. Except for you. You man advance. My guns are up on the hill so they can unlimber my howitzers. The enemy is getting quite nicely squeezed. You can't form a square because you've got a lance at horsemen bashing in behind you. You men are all able to form a square. We have killed their general, sir. Enemy general has fallen. Gunners engage the 88th Regiment with round shot, rapid fire. New men form square and you militia form withdraw into the protection of the enemy of the friendly square I should say not the enemy square don't commit my cavalry yet we're able to break them against our squares Okay, you men abandon the square. Thirteenth light horse. Yeah, they broke. Form the infantry. Okay, that was a bit of a, a tactical blunder. Bring my cavalry in. How oh, it's our attack ground. You men bayonet charge. Broken the enemy on the right. They've unset my line. Their cavalry is decisively routed. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! And he should be. It means he's in the right place, sir. Militia, make ready and fire. Form up on the enemy rear. There's my general, there he is. So these two units fall upon the enemy flank. 
the Finska troops hit the enemy guns to the rear. Human attack. Those are enemy foot guards, but their morale is low. Whereas amongst my troops, my morale is strong. Charge onward. These men can form a new front line against the reinforcements. Our men are running for. Which ones? Uh, men, men over there. I have to click rally now. Break the light foot. Hold fire. Yeah, they routed, but they'll come back. Let's bring the light horse back rather than the heavy. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Push up my cavalry to intercept some of the early units. Some of these units may come back. But in the grand scheme of things, I'm not overly concerned. Advance. Don't need to move our cavalry at all. Human advance. Twelve pounders engage. Nope, someone's come back. Oh no, it's the guns, sorry, they're still here. Just kill them enough that they hopefully shatter. It takes a lot to shatter units in Napoleon, actually. Okay, so you chaps plus you guys the men of fatigue, sir, and must rest form away. my reserve. Advance my horse guards up, ready to hit Prussians. My light cavalry can charge the enemy light horse. Once we take this position, I want to try and advance to get a better better view on what's coming in to reinforce. How it says push up. I want my line really to push through to this house. So as my heavies go wide, see what's ahead of us. New man attack the grenadiers. Okay, let's bring up some more troops in towards the city. Two units can form the reserve on the right. Two units form a reserve on the left. General push up. 12 pounders advance. For this line ahead of the houses. Good. Yes, there's musketeers, musketeers, more musketeers. I'm surprised you guys didn't come back, really. You've lost 100 men. They still might come back. I'm not going to try and bring them back, though. Let's just allow these men to filter through the cavalry. There's no rush. Although I may speed up time preemptively. None of these units appear to be coming back, though, which is candy. Let's 
Oh, they're withdrawing. They do not wish to fight. In which case, good on them, but we will advance. It's not often, actually, you get the enemy to withdraw. Smart, to be honest. I'm not overly bothered with their escape. There we go. There they the reinforcements have abandoned battle after the decisive loss of their main attacking force. Just 540 men, that was 3,100, which is huge. So the new men are going to pursue and destroy the remnants. Just destroy the leftovers. Excellent. You gained the trait Confident General. Good. So get back to Lemberg. The agent try and assassinate their general. They, these guys are going to advance north just to prevent them from getting ideas of trying to sneak around us. Garrison forces are replenishing quite nicely. All these armies to the south are just ready to do some real damage. So we've got Courland, which well we took Courland, sieging Vilnius. I mean, we're right on the. Well, basically, we're waiting for the you guys. You men are going to advance together against Moscow. Although they appear not to have defences. Then we have an army here, advancing towards Belgorod. Armies to the south, advancing towards Kiev. So let's take Mr. Sprengporten with his many guns and assault the city of Vilnius. And bring it into our control. Then we can hit end turn and see how things emerge. Because we're two turns away from attacking Moscow. We are... Well, to be honest, it might only be two turns before we take the entire Russian Empire. Okay. My Kurgan. You're going to advance down the main road. Flanked by... A mixture of Finns and Militia and in Delta on one flank. And the left flank is going to be your heavy flank. My guns, I've got a feeling, are going to be left behind. My howitzer will advance. Cavalry on either flank. Fort Jaeger on the far right. General's going to follow up the road. Advance up the road. Commence. Foot Jaeger are going to be a bit of bait. Uh, let's just put all of our guns up over here. They want to sit over here. They can. They might. The, the enemy will likely beat us here. Unless they want to be completely defensive. So get my dragoons to secure the hill. Excellent. I do not believe the enemy will be lying in wait. Based on the movement of their lances, or lack thereof, they may well remain sat in a defensive position. Ah, we have found some of the enemy. Halt, my light cavalry. Because that's their heavy cavalry. Infantry support will very much be needed to protect my light cavalry, my light hussars. 
my line is advancing at a reasonable pace. Kurgan up front. They see no they Kungen, not Kurgan. Kungen. I've been saying that wrong for so long. Call them Kurgan. <laughs> Militia. Militia. This is some, some heavy dragoons, which look pretty sick. Some musketeers, but look like I imagine recruit means recruits or raw or you know not necessarily tip top it's interesting that my units are so clearly the stamina of my units is so plain to see bring up the heavies Meg ready. Fire as she bears. Heavy cavalry. Hit the 7th Regiment of Militia. Because I want to whip some of these guys around the flank. Okay, my gem rust to come over. To the right flanks, that looks like where the neck where the enemy charge is going to be. Fall upon the enemy positions. Rally. Binskin Delta, Dorm, Guard Mode off. When you win, pursue. Heavy Cavalry hit the 2nd Regiment of Dragoons. New Men form Square, retreat to the protection of the friendly Square. Nope, they're out of here. Keep pushing. We've got a significant enemy retreat on the flank. 51st are routing. You men fall upon the 8th. I think you're about to witness an enemy collapse. Beautiful. Cease fire the howitzers. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. It is mine. Not soon to be. Oh, the enemy cavalry came back. What cavalry? Horse guards. get my heavies in here as well because that's currently my just my lights so they're a bit vulnerable to routing at the minute not as vulnerable as they are though they're already wavering there we go chaos sir, sir, our general is under attack that's just fine. Oh, I've got the enemy lances. You men advance up towards the enemy lances because you're probably going to get charged. Why aren't they visible? Okay, well, let's speed up time. Although, I 
Ultimately, they might actually be bugged. They might want to leave, but they can't. Either way... Let my infantry deal with them. Because that is their general. So let's watch a bit of the musket action. Yeah, they're wavering. They don't want to fight. They can't fight. Maybe, I don't know, maybe the general can't withdraw? I don't know. But there she blows. The enemy general's been killed too. Excellent. So that is... Vilnius secured with very few casualties. Excellent. So we next... And your position's over here at Minsk, looking rather vulnerable. You are going to replenish and then push Riga from the north. You're advancing to the south, towards Smolensk. But to be honest, things are looking very squiffy for the Russians. So let's hit end turn. Let's see what they elect to do. Are they falling back to Moscow? Or are they going to, hopefully, they consolidate inside their towns and villages? It will make follow-up actions much easier. It looks like that's exactly what they're doing. Agent detected, Bard Sundqvist. That's my guy. But you men, continue your run towards Belgorod. You men, continue your run towards Kiev. You men, hold this side of the bridge. Just like you guys. Newman advance up towards Kamenets. No fortifications either here. Mikhail Kutuzov. Hey, it's one of their good generals. You push up as reinforcement. Same as you. Probably stand to try and... You guys hold on the bridge. Actually, you guys may as well just push around to the north. we got plenty of guys who are able to... ...advance in the south. That's not even all of them. Mr. Bengston in Bucharest. Yep, he can also move. build a supply post ultimately you're within you're within one turn so if you men march along the road ooh, army a eh? combine my troops if they wish to attack they can attack us you men push on to smolensk Mr. Samuelson, push on to Riga, which is fortified, but there's not a huge amount of fortifications here. You men are going to replenish for a turn, then push on towards Minsk. Awesome. Okay, let's take Mr. Odegaard and attack Kamenets with Mr. Kutuzov inside. This will be another city to take, and our armies can just continue to drive eastward. So I don't think we're going to finish the campaign in this episode, but the next episode, probably, maybe? I don't know, there's still a lot of cities to take. So I want this hill, this higher ground for my 12-pounders. My 6-pounders are going to advance in the line. Four infantry on one flank. Three infantry on the left. And then my lights and my Kurgan can advance and secure the hill. I don't know, keep my cavalry 
balance, but uh, I was going to try and balance it more towards one flank than the other, but that never seems to really work in practice. Oh yeah, I want this hill. But I'm not going to run and make my troops get knackered to get it. Push my cavalry up to secure it quickly. It could be in the woods. I think that's a fairly solid deployment. Oh, plus my howitzers. Forgot about them. There's Mr. Kutuzov. He's looking very sad. Hello, cavalry. Ah. So they've not got the same idea, but they want the hill the same as us. I hear cavalry charge. Horse guards hit the lancers. They don't want to fight us, we're not going to push it. Come on, cavalry, you fancy it. Keep my light cavalry out of it. And there you go, they've withdrawn. Push my cavalry out to the flank. My heavy cavalry are enough to deal with that, and they're probably going to deal with it before my infantry show up because they're quite slow. Okay, you men run into position. Okay, my cavalry on the right are going to just advance into the mess. Keep my sixes out of the way. This is going to be a bit more of a battle of manoeuvre than they originally thought. Keep my general on the flank. Actually, let's try. Bring you guys back. Hit the militia, you hit that regiment of militia. Infantry will run. My general has to pick a side, it's going to be the right side. There we go. So, you should get some shots off into the enemy. In the event that they charge us, my cavalry on the left is going to be quite Sir. depleted. Sir, our general is under attack. No, don't get shot by your own men. Horse guards hit the militia. The lancers are returning. Light horse hit the militia. It's manageable. To use light cavalry to hit lancers. That's a skirmish unit there. Ooh, we're starting to chug. Enemy formations are looking pretty naked. So you men combined to hit the rota to the rear.
The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. It's my cavalry, isn't it? I'm aware they're fatigued. Oh, it's just a way out of it. Okay, they've broken, but... I don't necessarily want them to be unmolested trying to leave. That unit of lances might cause my cavalry to break. Okay, let's start to deploy my troops a bit smarter. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. I understand. I just don't care. Should push my cavalry up towards their the enemy guns. So this regiment of Finska should do some good damage. They're broken. Front lines breaking. Tuzov is fighting my lights. Unlimber my six pounders and they can attack the eleventh from the in the rear. Good stuff. And then push through the gun. I mean the AI guns never seem to work. Well actually they do, but when they work, it, well, it seems really in, in, like uh, unpredictable. Now they must there goes Mr. Kutuzov. Well, he's wounded. Let's walk my hussars over toward this unit of militia way out on the flank. Horse artillery. Human attack, these three will be enough to face off against that militia unit because their morale's already pretty poor. Ceasefire. These men, you guys attack the horse artillery. and get into position. Hey, there's still an enemy artillery unit. They finally routed. The artillery aren't going to be here for very long. Glorious victories, huh? Is soon to be yours. Again, where's this? What's this soon to be? Soon to be rubbish. The enemy are knackered. The only unit they've got is a militia unit all the way over here. Which I'm going to speed up time to do because. Oh, hello. Men keep coming back. Pursue them, good man. Take him out.
Don't stand off at distance. Shoot them. Your foot guards, damn it. You'll smash through that militia line. Plus you got 16 flight horse to hit them in the flank. Good stuff from this cavalry bayonet charge on the flank. The Kungin are going to be the deciding factor here. There they go. Oh, God alive. We destroy... Oh, good. I was going to say, I put down one unit that managed to recover from action, and then another one just pops up. But there we go. Nice. Entire army slaughtered to a man. So you men just just keep pushing, I suppose. All of their final cities are un going to be under attack imminently. Let's attack Riga. Knock down the walls. Conduct our attacks and secure this city as well. So then we've only got four territories left. Belgorod, Kiev. Smolensk, Moscow, no, five, because there's an extra one I've forgotten about. I've forgotten the name of. Kamenets. Grenadiers are going in the breach. Finns. The Finns are going to push one wall. My and Delta are going to support the Grenadiers attacking the breach by attacking the front. Skirmishers are going to hold any gaps. Cavalry is going to try and get in through the flank. All hit one section of wall. Fired short. Let's speed up time, because this bit takes an awful long time. Especially when I definitely want them to attack the walls. Well, they might... Oh no, sorry, they, these guys might be out of range. My 12-pounders won't. They should be... more than happy to plink. Let's, let's push my howitzers up, but also be ready for a spoiling cavalry charge. See, if we could knock out the walls now, that'd be great. And all these men are hidden. Yes, they are. That's why they abandoned this wall. Are my 12s not hitting them either? see quite what they're shooting at. Okay, good. They are retargeting. I have no idea what they're shooting. Whatever it is, it's wrong. But you may need to push up a bit closer. Not ideal, because it means you're within range of their artillery. But it is necessary. I mean, there's not... Hmm. It's an odd one, for sure. But you men... What's your firing? It's something. Okay, 5%, but that's from the howitzer fire. It's not from... the guns. <laughs> Oh, it says, are just the best thing to break through walls. When they hit, of course. Sometimes they don't hit. It certainly doesn't help when the gunners are shooting at something yet to be determined. Oh, 
glorious victory, the howitzers is soon to be yours. I have to barrage just to make sure things get done quick. I mean, I wonder, I wonder if the 12 pounders literally are just out of range. They're shooting, but they're all bouncing short. That could well be it. But I'm just being a dummy. But once we hold the breach, it'll be more difficult for them to reinforce this wall. So I'll have to run. They'll lose this stairway, and I'll have to come down these stairs, across the courtyard, and up these stairs. And I'm hoping I can take this step. I can take this wall, capture the gate, and pour my cavalry in to fight in the centre. That would be an ideal outcome. Now they're aware of what's happening. I've killed a few men from the wall collapsing, which is nice. And they're aware that the wall is going to be pushed. Although if there's only one militia unit. Defending it, that's okay. Is that unit... No, that unit died completely. So, I've heard, apparently, it's just simply due to the fact that if they're on the wall and it gets hit by artillery, they all die. So that's why that unit's completely wiped out. The howitzer unit must have overshot and counted as hitting that, even though it didn't damage it. It must have done a, a fraction of a percent. Hmm. But either way, once we make our breach, their fate will be assured. And I've put my general around here, both to protect the breach and also the man I want assaulting the other walls. And the hope is, if I can... If I can breach in fairly short order, I can focus on chipping away at this wall so any units that try and use this stairway die every time they get hit. But we are chipping away. Yeah, militia ga a garrison militia unit can be a danger. Especially in Napoleon, because it seems like... Well, mor when, especially in Napoleon Total War 3, because morale is so much more of an important factor. So let's give away my, my intentions. Keep the barrages going. One more good shot and we're in. We might not be in range of this wall, but I'd like to also attack that. Well, actually, I don't really want... No, I don't really want to, actually. I'll just attack units on the walls or whoever they want to shoot at. See, that feels like it was a good hit, but for whatever reason it didn't count as far as damage is concerned. goes the wall. Units very upset. Yeah, we're still gaining visibility. No cavalry, don't advance too far up. God, there was a lot of, there was a lot of hidden troops up there. Maybe one try and attack. They're both. Okay, they're both the units are trying to attack the 22nd Regiment. They can't hit the Light Horse, they may as well both hit the 9th Light Foot. Actually, no, don't. Try. Send one of them to keep attacking this section of the wall, because if they try and march down these steps, we can destroy them. Okay, let's 
speed up time. Because I'm not ready to attack until my troops over here, who are still hidden by the way, I, didn't, I, f I keep forgetting that, are ready to storm the wall. Yeah, so theory goes, these guys should have died if the wall was hit while they were going down it. Which they appear to be doing. But yes, we're going to need my general. I might even... Send a horse guard unit here, send one unit to secure the gate, so while we're attacking the breach, we're also pushing in through the gate as well, with cavalry. But still, speed up time. Okay, now they know we're here. No, don't... don't run. Try send most of them to capture the wall. Send an infantry unit to the gate to, to be ready to defend. Send out my grenadiers. Send my light infantry to try and secure the other gatehouse. There we go. Okay, so we're going to attack. Artillery comes in. Could hit, but one of these guys should be dead, you'd hope. But let's cease artillery fire on the other breach, because I don't want a breach here, really. I want my general here to easily be able to respond to either boost morale in the breach or boost it during my assault forces. It's probably going to be through the breach. These guys are slightly better... Well, they, these guys have plus two defence and, and one less charge bonus. I think the defence is going to be what... Well, actually, maybe the one with charge bonus is the most useful in the short term. Well, you guys can both secure the breach. I don't mind these guys, two units, attempting to scale the wall. So, grenadiers with their charge bonus get through first because they're going to charge. They're going to be able to charge. Artillery just cease firing. Let these guys come. Th Actually, okay. Let's secure the gate first. The gates are ours. Huzzah! The light foot have abandoned the wall, which is great. But Jaeger, secure that. You men secure that. Delta. Oh, the, all of the gates are ours already. Ninety seventh will advance. I'm going to be backed up by the hundred and fifth. Delta, get in. Here we go, boys! OK, 
Come on, foot guards, get over here. The Grenadiers are cleaving their way through the 23rd Regiment. You men both get off the walls. Get into the armory. Just just run the cavalry in here, wherever they can get in. They could fire into the advance into the back of the ninth, but that's in hand. No, you guys are coming back we down the, the ladder. Building, Take the building, you'll fire into the cavalry, you'll fire into the backs of this infantry. The 94th are winning against the 20th. These men are going to run into position and then form square. You men engage the 10th. Actually, you men just form line if they're not going to charge us. Same with you. Shoot them. The 104th. The men of fatigue, sir, and must rest I away. don't give a damn. You can charge the ninth as well. Because you men will obliterate the fifth, as will the 98th. So charge the 13th light foot in the rear. The foot guards are charging once more. There we go. Your commander is fleeing the battle. That's what I thought. Excellent. Nicely done. That's yet another Russian territory. Secured for the Swedish Empire. So let's get our repairs done. You can actually now begin to advance down towards here. Let's build the lumber mill. Everything's looking pretty darn secure. You can actually advance and smack into Boris Novosoy. But looking at the timer, it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for potentially the end of Russia. We'll have to see how we get on. See you in around, everyone.